Hello and welcome to a new episode of the Fuser Reviews channel. I'm Paul and let me tell you something. It's been a while, but we are doing a beer review today. And I actually have like a couple lined up. Uh, it's been a while because as I've said on previous videos or the podcast that uh, drinking really isn't a priority, isn't a, a backbone of the potation rotation thing anymore, mostly because of health reasons, but it doesn't mean I can't have an occasional adult beverage every now and then. Um, and as I go along this weight loss journey, I am here to tell you that I am down 25 pounds, so what I'm doing is, is working. Uh, but anyway, beer. Today, I'm reviewing something very local. In fact, so local, it's pretty much from my backyard. It is Oconomowoc's very own Brewfinity Brewing Company, Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. This one is the Jorge Jalapeno Lager. It says, brew, drink, repeat. Now, let me tell you something. I've had a, what I call a pepper beer before uh, in Fort Collins. I went to a bar. It was a bar pool hall combo. It had a lot of pool tables, so I would consider it a pool hall. And they had a, I think it was like a ghost pepper uh, beer. And it was very good. It was it was spicy. People thought I was nuts drinking it. Some people just took a shot and couldn't handle it. I drank a whole pint. I thought it was brilliant. It was probably one of the best beers I've ever had. Uh, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. This says they don't have heat uh, in it. Um, let me redo the label. Yes, I'm matching today. Uh, brewed and canned by Brewfinity Brewing Company, Oconomoc, Wisconsin. Brewfinitybrewing.com. For you guys out there, it's got the government warnings. Jorge. Jalapeno lager. Refreshing and crisp lager. Will you smell the fresh jalapenos, taste the jalapenos, but with almost no heat. Perfect complement to spicy food, Tex-Mex, or as a Bloody Mary chaser. Oh, wow. Yes. Or you can make one of those Mexican uh, bloodies. Uh, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. Chiladas or something? M Mica oh, Michaladas. Um I think is the term that most people might use, but it's beer and Bloody Mary mix. This would probably be good uh, for that. Uh, and it's got their address on uh, their website once again and their phone number. Um, so it's a nice can. Uh, it's, you know, it's a basic can with a label that they glue onto it. It's not, it's not even or anything like that. Uh, they probably just got people with, sitting at tables slapping labels on these things, but it's, it's a nice label. It's not cheap. A cheap printed label whatsoever. Uh, it does not state the alcohol content on here, which is weird. But anyway, it's a 16 ounce tall boy can, and I found this uh, at our local Piggly Wiggly uh, location, and it looked uh, interesting. They had a bunch of their beers there on display. Some of the other beers they had on display were a Nut Buster, a Brown Ale, a Day Drinker, which was just a, an American, regular American premium lager, uh, 80s Love Child, uh, which is an India Pale Ale. Um, there's something about that one, too, like one of like an East Coast or West Coast style IPA, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Contemplator, uh, which was a, a, a Doppelbach lager, uh, IP Yadderhe. Uh, which is just their basic India Pale Ale. Oktoberfest, and then they had the You're Killing Me S'mores, which was a s'mores flavored. Um, I th think I've got the Nut Buster? I don't remember. I've got another one of them, and it'll be coming up as, as well. So, uh, yeah, I got it at the Piggly Wiggly, but they do have, um, in Oconomowoc, they do have a tap room. Uh, you can get them there as well, and uh, some other... Ones that they don't that don't have like the Karen Kolsch, which is a lemon zest and fresh basil Kolsch style brew. Um, what's cool though, if you go to the tap room and get something like a Jorge, you can actually ask for it spicy. They will make it spicy if you go to their tap room. Which if this is good, I might have to do that. So pop it open and uh, woo yes, that smells like that smells like I am. Sticking my nose in a jar of jalapenos as my 
Windows security virus and threat protection window pops up. Mmm, that smells fantastic. It smells like, it does smell like that, that pepper beer that I had uh, in Fort Collins. Doesn't smell as strong. Um, that was the nice thing about that ghost, I, I swear to God, it was a ghost pepper beer. It had a jalapeno scent to it, so it was very pleasing. But we're going to pour a little bit. It's very golden yellow. It's almost like the juice that's in a jalapeno jar. That is, that is what I liken uh, when you're talking about a lager uh, to be a, a piss yellow. I, I've used that term before. It's no joke. Um, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. That is just a beautiful golden color. Uh, it's almost, like I said, it's almost got like a shade of looking at jalapeno juice, uh, which is kind of like that brownish, yellowish color. Wasn't a lot of head going in, um, but it was a very slow pour, so that might be my bad. But it looks, let me see, let's see what kind of head I can get by forcing it. Not much. Not much. Very light head on it. So that's good. So you can just go to town pouring it without being careful and you're not going to get a whole lot of head. It's very, it's almost like a carbonation uh, type head. Almost like you're pouring a, a, a soda that's about to go flat. But wow, this smells really good. Okay, so here we go. Brewfinity Brewing Company out of Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Their Jorge Jalapeno Lager going in. Mm. This is this is really good. <laughs> I I think I have found um, a new affection for beers, and it is uh, peppers. Oh my gosh! I don't know. I don't know where these have been all my life. I've always been a spicy guy. I like spicy stuff. Um, so, of course, I think I'm going to be impartial to it. I just, I, I think it's a marriage made in heaven. Peppers, hot peppers, spicy peppers, and beer. Um, I just, I love it. Oh, my gosh. Um, I appreciate the one that I had in Fort Collins more. However, I would like to go to their tap room and say, kick this up as high on the spice chart that you can, uh, if you want to call it. I, it's weird saying that it would be something of uh, along the lines of Scoville's because, I mean, it's wet. So I kind of think that that plays a factor in kind of like dumbing down what the heat would be as far as ranking it on Scoville's go. So heat is like not a thing. Spice is a thing in something like this. So if I say kick it up on the spice chart, that's what I mean. Not Scoville, not heat. You, you don't really get heat and all. I didn't get heat off that ghost pepper beer. I got major spice, like major kick to the taste buds is what it was. Anyway, what do the critics say? the actual professionals about Jorge. This is actually a reviewed beer. You can find reviews for this online. It has a very good score of 88 on Beer Advocate. They claim it's retired. It's not retired. I just bought it. So I don't know how often they update it, but if you go to Brewfinity's website, it's they've got it. It looks like they've got all their beers, um, at least eight of these, uh, available on tap and in the tall boys and then whatever else they have on tap that they don't sell anyway um, apparently it's been around for a good eight nine years um, I've only first heard of it but that's only because I live out here uh, like I said score is 88 uh, the alcohol by volume is actually it says here uh, 4.2 percent uh, there's 13 ratings with an average 3.97. Uh, PDEV is 10.58%. So it's got some pretty good ratings. Um, like I said, it smells okay. 
Um, it smells like, you know, hot peppers. A little bit oily and earthy or whatever, but uh, it's pretty good. It's almost like a sweet... It's a very sweet. It is, actually. Now that I'm... I'm probably going to just... You know what? I'm just going to drink this and then drink it out of the can. It's good. And I'm not... Like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not going to sit here and break apart all the all the flavors and all the tones and all the notes and everything, but uh, fruity, um, sweet, almost like a citrus, uh, a wheat uh, taste. Um, it's pepper forward without the spice. It's just an all around really good, really good beer. I'm going to drink it from the can. I would love to get this on tap. I think we're going to go to their tap room soon and get this and say kick it up. If you like peppers, if you like things with a uh, spice or a kick, the spicier the better in my opinion. But if you like any kind of peppers, even they have habanero uh, beers, like I said, the ghost pepper one that I had as well, uh, jalapeno. If you like that kind of shit and you like beers, you come across something like this, pick it up. I don't know if this is available nationwide. I don't know if you can order it online. I don't know if your local Total Wine carries it or if you can get it imported. There's probably better out there, but I wouldn't know. This is the first one I've ever seen I've been able to buy, and it just happens to be right in my own backyard. So, Brewfinity Brewing Company, Jorge, Jalapeno Ale. Sorry, Jalapeno Lager. I highly recommend it. I'm going to give it five out of six. That's going to do it for this episode. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you're new here. And leave a comment down below about your favorite beers or if you've tried a jalapeno or any kind of pepper, lager, ale, wheat style, whatever, whatever. I, I don't know what's out there. If they can make like a pepper triple, oh, I'd be in heaven. Triple is my f absolute number one favorite style of beer as I get the burps. But yeah, um, I recommend this. Uh, all our links are down below to all the YouTube content and social media links, potationrotation.com. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you on the next one. Later. <laughs>